I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the October 2020 U.S. exam calculator section. We have a function for the number of teachers and for the number of students in a school, and College Board is asking which of these graphs could be the number of students, S of n, in a school where n is the number of years since 2002. If you look at n equals zero, the number of students should be 1,280 plus 30 times 0 is 1,280. And choices A, B, and D are close to that. C is a very small number compared to 1,280, which would be up here, or down here. So choice C is clearly not correct. Let's look at which other options we can eliminate. For n equals 15, which is the last year this applies and the last year on each of these graphs, we should have 1, 2, 8, 0, plus 30 times 15, which is plus 450. We can do this on a calculator, but we don't need to. And that would be 1, 7, 3, 0. Choice B is way too low. We've got a negative slope for B. The slope here is positive 30. The number should be increasing as n increases. Choice D looks like pretty close to zero slope, so that's wrong. And choice A, my graph is a little crooked because I'm not much of an artist, but it's certainly a positive slope and it is more than 1,700, so choice A is reasonable. Our answer would be A because B has a negative slope, D has zero slope, and C has the wrong intercept. College Board often asks you to interpret graphs or relate equations to their graphs. So make sure you're good at connecting the two and come back soon for my next SAT video with math there's always more.